I have three uh, beautiful and valuable swords. They were all swords uh, given as, as uh, honour. They're not swords for sticking in Frenchmen or, or, or Spanish for that matter. Uh, the first one uh, is uh, a slightly curved blade and the hilt is of a golden crocodile. After the Battle of the Nile in 18... 97 uh, or 1879 <laughs> um, the captains of the ships of Nelson's band of brothers decided to band together and give Nelson a sword uh, to commemorate the victory and then they all sort of had one made for themselves and I have one of the few swords that are still in the family Nelson's was stolen from the Greenwich Museum in 1905 when they were cleaning it up on the anniversary of Trafalgar, which was a shame. Um, so that is a beautiful sword. Uh, he was also given a Patriotic Fund sword uh, in 1801 to commemorate his victory over the combined Spanish and French fleets in Algeciras, Gibraltar. And then the Swedish king, Bonaparte, Bonaparte, no, Bernadotte, one of Bonaparte's marshals uh, gave him a sword with the, the, the hilt encrusted with diamonds uh, in, in grateful thanks for, for stopping Sweden getting dragged into the war. And uh, the, there's a little anecdote about that. Yeah. Sometime later, uh, James was travelling through Kent with his wife on a stagecoach uh, with a trunk on the back which some people nicked. And in that trunk was all his wife's jewellery and she was very upset so he had all the diamonds taken out of the sword hilt and turned into to jewellery for her um, and replaced with, with, with paste. Those three swords are all in the Castle Cornet and, and, and there's a lovely little bit in Castle Cornet, it's well worth going and having a look at.